Yo les gens sont rush, j'espère que vous allez bien, moi ça va nickel aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour une vidéo sur un jeu en anglais. Bon, là je vous ferai la traduction, etc. Hein. Je crois que les soucis sont là. On est sur The Stanley Parable. Ah. Euh, non. Je veux. Ne, mais, de, de, ne. Pardon, excusez-moi, je suis en train de faire la vidéo. Et là. Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi, excusez-moi. Euh, je ne sais plus où c'est les trucs. Bref, allez, on lance. Donc, euh, c'est sur The Stanley Parable. C'est un jeu. On dit, il retourne la tête. Et c'est un jeu, en fait, on nous dicte un truc. Soit on le suit, soit on ne suit pas. C'est simple, c'est juste ça le truc. Donc, je vais couper mon micro. Il y a une, cin ouais, y a une cinématique, donc je vais mon micro. Euh, normalement, il y a les sous-titres. Il pas les sous-titres, moi, je couperai mon micro et, et je vous traduirai. Ou je mettrai les sous-titres euh, sur... Euh... Ouais, je ferai les sous-titres au montage, tiens. Ouais, ça peut être une bonne idée, ça. Ouais, je vais faire ça. Enfin, je sais pas, bref. Alors, les, ta les temps de chargement... Ouais, ça va, il est pas encore très très long. C'est juste qu'il y a Shadowplay et Sony Vegas qui tourne derrière. Bon, c'est pas grave. C'est... Oui, je, je record avec Shadowplay et avec Sony Vegas par derrière. Oui, c'est un... un style. Beaucoup de gens ne l'utilisent pas. Bon, moi, j'utilise. <rire> c'est Bref. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Donc c'est l'histoire d'un mec qui s'appelle Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. C'est un employé d'une... Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Donc voilà, donc en fait je vais vous traduire en truc qui met. Je vais vous expliquer. Donc Stanley c'est un employé d'une entre une grande entreprise, c'est numéro 427. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Alors j'ai pas très compris, euh, en fait à mon avis j'ai fermé la porte donc j'ai pas voulu euh, suivre les ordres. Donc en gros cette année c'est le numéro 427 d'une grande entreprise. Et en gros il suit tout le temps tous les ordres et son métier consiste à appuyer sur des boutons sur le clavier. Voilà, ouais, c'est juste ça. Et en fait donc un lundi matin il n'y a plus d'employés et il n'y a plus d'ordres. En fait il n'y a plus d'ordres donc il décide de regarder si euh, bah, tout fonctionne bien. Donc voilà. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Donc, euh, bah, en fait, il remarqua que tous ses employés, bah, ils étaient plus là. Mais euh, je vais essayer de voir s'il n'y a pas les sous-titres. Parce que je pense vraiment. 
vraiment quel est sous-titre Vidéo. Et je comprends pas pourquoi il n'y a pas les sous-titres. Une fois, j'ai réussi à les mettre. Vas-y, je vais les mettre. Donc, il doit aller dans la meeting room, dans la salle de réunion. En fait. Donc, euh... voilà. Et c'est là que les choix. Pour un. interagir avec les PC, d'accord. J'ai la joueuse, je en dis. Donc voilà. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Donc en gros, Stanley, il arrive à une embouchure de deux portes. Et en fait, en gros, le patron dit, ok, on va, euh, Stanley doit passer. doit passer euh, à la porte de gauche. On va passer par la porte de gauche. Donc il n'y a pas de screamer, hein, je le dis. Pour ceux qui seraient... Euh, qui auraient peur de screamer, on n'a pas de screamer. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Donc voilà, donc en gros, il voit qu'il n'y a personne dans le meeting room, donc il va être dans les salons. Dans le salon des employés. Ah Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Donc en gros là, il dit que Stanley doit aller en haut. Enfin, nous, on va aller en bas, parce qu'on est des élégants. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field and it too appeared. It was so much fun and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? 
Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, bon, je coupe la parole. En gros, depuis tout à l'heure, en fait, il parle parce qu'en fait, si vous, je sais pas si vous avez marqué, mais en fait, on me fait tout le temps, tout le temps, tout le temps, tout le temps le même chemin. Et il se demande, est-ce que c'est moi qui suis cinglé Est-ce que c'est mon boss qui est cinglé euh, Et il se demande, bah, est-ce qu'il est en train de dormir Est-ce qu'il est en train de rêver Est-ce qu'il est en train de vraiment vivre Et en fait, en gros, bah, il se dit. Ben non, je peux pas, je peux pas être en rêve vu que je suis, euh, je rien de marcher, je, je suis vraiment éveillé, et il veut vraiment retourner à son boulot qu'il adore, c'est plus sur des touches. He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him flow to make the magical stars? To... Et il se pose la question, en fait, pourquoi il a une voix dans sa tête et euh, qui décrit ben, tout ce qu'il fait, tout ce qu'il pense. Just a moment ago, how else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want... En gros, là, la voix est en train de décrire qu'en fait, Stanley est en train de s'endormir. Euh, et en fait, il veut vraiment retourner à son boulot. Il veut vraiment, vraiment retourner à son boulot, rappuyer sur ses touches, etc. My apartment, and my wife, and my job... All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Donc là en fait en gros il veut retourner, il veut revoir sa femme, il veut revoir ses enfants, il veut, il veut retrouver son boulot. Il dit je suis un homme normal. Je... Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Voilà. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy... Donc là en gros il dit donc ça, là c'est la journée d'une d'une femme nommée j'ai pas compris son nom Maria voilà et en fait elle découvre sur son chemin ben, le corps de Stanley et en fait en gros elle dit oui c'est un homme en fait il se voit il se parle à lui-même etc donc c'est vraiment bizarre comme jeu sincèrement je sais pas ce que vous en pensez mais euh, pour l'instant c'est assez bizarre and in that moment she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal I am sane I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And... Donc là, en fait, en gros, il est en train de dire que, en gros, Maria, machin, elle est exactement comme Stanley, elle sait pas ce qui est vraiment vrai, ce qui est faux, ce qui, ce qui existe vraiment, ce qui existe pas vraiment. Donc, voilà. By extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Donc voilà, c'est la fin du jeu. Oui, et aussi donc ça puisse paraître, c'est la fin du jeu. En fait, il y a plusieurs fins. Il y a plus de papier d'un coup. Il faut savoir qu'il y a plus de papier d'un coup. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. On va deuxième, on fera une deuxième dire qu'on va s'arrêter. Cette fois-ci, on va aller à la 
When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. En gros, donc euh, voilà, il dit, euh, il sait qu'en fait, euh, il sait où est la salle de réunion, mais il va à droite parce qu'il va regarder dans euh, la salle ah, de repos. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully con. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Donc là, en fait, euh, le mec il dit, bon, bah, euh, il doit prendre la porte directement à sa gauche. Donc on va faire, on va faire, en fait, on va faire tout le contraire de ce qu'il dit. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been a... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Donc en fait, en gros, le boss, il dit, oui, mais en fait, euh, voilà, je veux juste euh, montrer c'est quoi la vraie vie, ce que c'est vraiment. En fait là on est en train de totalement faire l'inverse de ce que le boss dit pour voir euh, la deuxième euh, une deuxième fois. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Donc là il dit la rouge non pas. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Et en gros, là, le boss, il dit, bah oui, mais t'étais pas censé d'arriver, arriver de là. Donc voilà, ça c'est vraiment un jeu qui retourne la tête. On n'a pas encore fini. C'est, je, je finis juste celle-là. Et euh, voilà, ça retourne vraiment, vraiment la tête. Et c'est marrant en fait. Ouais, c'est marrant. Donc en fait, euh, il dit, ouais, donc en fait, j'ai juste de créer la salle parce que t'étais vraiment pas censé venir là, en fait. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that because I did? And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Eh ben non. Je vais à la porte de droite. Et il m'a couillé. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Donc en fait là il dit ouais mais je viens juste de créer la salle, je viens juste de tout créer tout. Tu pourras quand même mettre une bonne note et puis moi je lui ai mis un pour totalement faire l'inverse. Euh, voilà, c'est totalement l'inverse de ce que je de, je vais faire totalement l'inverse de ce qu'il dit. Uh, but I guess it is my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Là c'est une troisième. Ouais, la porte de gauche. Ah, ah, ah. Hmm. 
J'ai joué 7 minutes au jeu. What Ok. Seconde. Minute. Heure. Ah d'accord, j'ai joué 7 heures au jeu. Et euh, en fait, moi, je ne veux pas du tout faire comme toi. Je vais aller à la porte de gauche. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. En gros, là, il va tout le temps recréer, recréer, recréer jusqu'à ce qu'on lui mette 5, en fait. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, oh, all about the jeu. desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. En gros, là, le jeu, en gros, il nous impose d'appuyer sur le bouton euh, quand le bébé ira limite dans le feu pour le faire revenir en arrière. Moi, je le laisse aller dans le feu. But of course, the message of the game only becomes ouais. clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard! Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game, just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. En gros, je vous ai marqué, en fait, j'ai appuyé sur la charge, parce que mon micro était coupé. En gros, là, il dit, ouais, merci d'avoir joué. Et euh, je vais euh, vous montrer un autre jeu que vous pourrez jouer, etc. Donc là, j'ai coupé mon micro. Ça va, ça servit totalement à rien, vu qu'il y a un temps de chargement. Je suis très logique dans ma vie. Hop. On va voir ce que ça donne, parce que je crois que c'est toujours pas fini. Son... Ah. What well, Stanley, is this any better At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? <laughs> Don't make well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater sense. artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... <laughs> Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, bouge. Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. No, I don't want Parce que je vais vite fait s'il n'y a pas une touche pour sauter. Case et de que non, je vais vais vite fait. Non, je veux pas. C'est quand même bien foutu. On est obligé. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if. Wait. That's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Là, il veut faire une maison en diamant. Ah non, mais là, c'est trop la musique de Minecraft en plus. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, I'm stuck. It's super well done. 
Oh, no, 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 Dead no. Stuff. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. OK, new game. <rire> OK, new game. Donc voilà. On va cesser là parce qu'après, c'est tout le temps la même boucle, etc. C'est un peu chiant. Donc j'espère que ça vous a plu, une vidéo sur ce jeu. Alors, il euh, n'y a pas vraiment eu beaucoup d'action, je n'ai pas vraiment beaucoup parlé, j'ai juste fait de la traduction. Mais bon, j'espère que ça vous aura plu. Ah non, porte <rire> Yes I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Wow, portal, les sérieux. Oh, excusez-moi, je vous ai tutoyé. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Mais non, par contre, là, c'est tellement, c'est super bien foutu. Genius. Si tu... Vous imaginez, on doit faire tous les niveaux de partout. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser. Ça me fait stresser ça par contre. Excuserai, je pense à stresser. Ça se referme pas. De la lumière. Où oh, une télé Par contre là, ça, les gens ça fait stresser quand même. Attends. Non, je retourne à la maison, je veux pas moi. Je veux pas moi. Je suis obligé. Je suis, je, 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 je suis à la maison. Je fous de moi tout le clic gauche. Non, il veut pas. C'est quand même super bien foutu. Euh, L'historique Minecraft, l'historique Portal. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it, he'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Alors en gros, il dit, ouais, donc en fait, Stanley a besoin du boss. Parce qu'en fait, en gros, sans le boss, il peut pas contredire les ordres, vu qu'il n'y aura pas d'ordre. Donc en fait, il peut pas faire son rebelle, ou bien faire son... l'échecu, quoi. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Là, attends. Il dit, ouais, donc j'attends. Je vais venir. Je vais attendre. J'attends. Donc là, ça relance. Encore. C'est quand même super bien fait, les jeux comme ça. Des petits jeux, c'est un jeu indé. Et franchement, reprendre Portal, reprendre Minecraft, etc. Franchement, voilà. Donc là, c'est fini. C'est tout. Et c'est fini. J'espère que ça vous aura plu. On a fait deux fins. Sur euh, énormément une affinité. En fait, c'est un petit peu la Bioshock Infinite. Parce qu'en fait, en gros, on va dans des situations parallèles. En fait, une branche peut donner deux branches qui vont donner deux branches qui vont donner deux branches qui vont donner deux branches, etc. Et en fait, on s'est très, 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 très loin de la première. Et c'est vraiment, comment dire c'est vraiment super génial les, les jeux comme ça donc voilà j'espère que ça vous aura plu si c'est le cas likez partagez abonnez vous hein. j'espère que le son n'aura pas été trop fort si c'est le cas ben, si le son était trop fort et ben je vais quand même la vidéo euh, parce que j'ai quand même galéré à la faire allez à plus souvent j'espère que ça vous aura plu et puis ben, si c'est le cas ben,